we all depend on clean water and you know everyone says we need oil but first and foremost we need water Minnesota Chippewa Tribe Leech Lake and I'm the northern organizer for Minnesota 350 and I was one of the co-founding sisters of RISE Coalition. We are holding front lines in, um, in many locations here in northern Minnesota along with other camps um, and other you know organizations that feel that we must uh, defend our treaties and our ancestors signed those treaties to protect our way of life. We were to live um, as good neighbors and leave this earth in a better way than we found it. And we see line three and all these extractions are a violation of those treaties. There's been huge frack outs and a lot of the water is already being contaminated. So we see firsthand um, how dangerous this pipeline is and, and how it threatens our food. And when it threatens our food and our water, we see it as an act of genocide. So this is just the beginning of what treaty relationships are gonna look like. I think treaties um, are gonna, you know, take years and years to find some justice, but I think it's a good place to be for now. And I also feel that, you know, um, some of the uh, camps that are doing direct action um, is a great way also to um, show the rest of the world that we are not okay with this. And, you know, we are the seeds that they couldn't destroy and, and we're flourishing now. So we're gonna continue to grow and hold space in treaty and direct action. We cannot, give up. We must build on community power, people power, and um, native style. People can join this resistance by following us on Facebook at Rise Coalition, Ginyu Collective, Camp McGizzy, the Welcome Water Center, Minnesota 350, Minnesota Interfaith Power and Light, and um, Indigenous Environmental Network, and just reach out to us because we find healing, we find strength, and we find inspiration, and we find power when we show up together, because when we stand together, we don't stand alone.